Hello everyone, welcome back to the DOU. It is the Duchess of Unicorn YouTube channel and we're called The Do. So let's get into the next video because I'm just finding like these little treasures and they make me laugh. It's like little insane giggles that I do all day when I flip through the so-called Meghan Markle media news. Ah, oh, it's, it's precious. If you're new here and you've never been here before, welcome. I appreciate you even taking the time to stop in and check out our little, little bit of parcel here on YouTube. It's a fairly new channel. It's about eight months, give or take. And it is growing slowly, but you're here, you can help. If you're already watching these videos, you're already here, you're here for it, then why not subscribe? It doesn't cost anything and you and I both win. have you as one of my lovely channel members, unless they're nasty. Oops. And learn more about the channel, go ahead in the description box. The full disclaimer is there. What Meghan Markle's relationship with Adele is really actually, actually like. So this made me laugh because she first rents a house from Taylor, uh, Tyler Perry and then supposedly they're intertwined through Oprah, her good friend. So now she gets this house in some place in Santa Barbara and they they practically tell us where she lives. And then I'm thinking, well, geez, why don't you just put out the address? Because why would they move from Kyla Perry's? Because there's so much drone action and so many people after them looking at them and trying to fly dozens of drones over Tyler Perry's home when that was super, super uh, isolated out there. It wasn't like it was in a little tiny cute neighborhood. It was on its own out there. And now she's supposedly moved into the Chateau of Ribbon Rock and basically the house has been on the market. So they posted online all the photos of this house that's on the market or was on the market. And now Megan supposedly purchased for like 9.5. The mortgage is like 9.5. They must have put down the rest in cash uh, as a down payment of sorts. So it must have been, I think it was 14,000, 14 million, excuse me. And so, wow, okay. And so now supposedly in that neighborhood, Oprah's still part of that neighborhood somewhere. But they don't want to talk about Oprah right now because now they want to introduce a new fresh face. So we can think that now she's with friends with Adele. Now we both know. Give me a break. So let's go down and see what they say. Just going to skim this. I'm not going to, you know, talk about it verbatim. We're just going to hit some points. So Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and their one-year-old son, who really probably doesn't exist. And that's the consensus made their big move to Los Angeles. Why do you say, are you asking me why? I think that Archie doesn't exist. Um, well, I don't know. He has a big giveaway. Queen Elizabeth did not attend the christening. She did not attend the christening. And she did not attend the christening. Okay, have you seen the queen holding baby Archie in any photos at all? No. Have you seen her and Archie, except for one photo, have you seen her and Archie in the same room together? She didn't even have an appearance in the christening photo. Hmm. So that is just, just a simple little deduction of why I think this child does not exist. No interaction with the queen mother nothing just one photo ever with them in the same frame and honestly i think that is actually photoshopped and if you don't think so then go ahead and look online yourself and look into the queen and look on youtube and see how many other people have done videos on the photoshopped photo of the queen Harry, Prince Philip, and Meghan Markle. Oh, and don't forget Doria, all superimposed into that photo. Okay, just as the pandemic hit the U.S. this year and they moved into their $14.7 million home in Montecito earlier this summer, 
per Entertainment Tonight, the biggest liar in the industry, the couple hasn't been totally without some community in LA. Of course, of course, of course. Even while they isolate during the pandemic, of course you're supposed to isolate, but yet you can go do yoga with your neighbors. I don't know. And honestly, Adele and Megan, really, really? Before they moved into their new home, Harry and Megan were living in Tyler Perry's Beverly Hill mansion. So blah, blah, blah. Let's skip that which is not far from Adele's place in the area. Okay, so we're back to Adele. Omid Scobie, mm -mm -mm, royal reporter and author of this lying ass book, Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, which I would title Finding, Finding My Legs to Run, Harry Being Cheated by Meghan and the Making of a Unmodern Lion royal or unroyal American woman told E.T. that it's not unlikely that Megan and Adele have been in touch since Megan's move. Scooby or Scoby or Scoppy or Scrappy said they know each other pretty well and have a history. Honestly, folks, in this day and age with everything going on, pandemic and this and that and that and this and that, that and this when we want to talk about true beauty and truth in life and love and blessings, we don't really need to hear more people trying to sell more magazines, trying to sell more books, only to find out the stuff that they put in these things are pure liquidated lies. Or I'll be nicer. In my opinion, they're embellishments. And I know it's just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. But a lot of embellishing goes on here. And we are actually, we're just eating it up. Well, I'm not. And you're not. But some people are eating it up. And they want it to be real. Like you want to believe that Megan and Adele are real great friends, right? But the, the truth is that they're probably not real good friends. <laughs> just because you move in the neighborhood of somebody doesn't make you actually if you live 20 miles down the road or eight miles down the road you are not actually my friend for instance it's as simple as you and maybe someone that lives i don't know four blocks down from you work at the same factory or work in the same office but doesn't it it doesn't automatically make you besties it really doesn't. You might not even barely know that person just from passing at, at most. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous how they try to belittle our senses and our intelligence. And they think that we want to believe that they're friends. I could care less, honestly, if Megan and Adele are friends. But don't try to feed me a narrative of lies because it's selling your book. You have to mention your book over and over again. And maybe some fool will go out and spend money on it, even though it was at supposed to be at retail cost, a higher rate, and actually sold, I think, for 20 bucks. If you bought it, oops. They first met when Megan was supporting the Grenfell Fire tragedy victims in London. They always want to work in, they always feel they have to work in something that she did or something that a celebrity did that kind of is in the, the wheelhouse of another celebrity, okay, to kind of tie it all together. So I'm going to stop reading and let you know that this, this article is basically just saying that that's how they, they actually were exposed to each other because of the Hub Community Kitchen and the Grenfell Fire tragedy victims and the book, the cookbook, and then Scooby's back in the whole thing. Scooby Dooby Doo is back in this. And Scooby says this, and Scooby says that, and we know Scooby is definitely an embellisher because it's already known that he and Megan and Harry and I'll, I'll leave Harry out of it but Megan predominantly worked with him to kind of throw this book together fast of course they're living very close to Oprah Winfrey a dear confidant and to 
to the couple of the couple and also a friend of Megan's mother. Oh, so now Doria Raglan, who was in obscurity prior to Megan, you know, marrying Harry, is now a friend of a celebrity who we know is leaves, you know, food for thought in terms of her legitimacy in being a uh, loving, kind person. Check and research Oprah Winfrey for yourself. David Forster, the Canadian music producer and composer. You remember him from one of my last videos when he married a much younger woman who happens to be Megan's friend. I'll insert the picture to remind you. I hope I still have it because I did clear a lot of things out of my system to lighten up the load of my system. But uh, Megan's friend actually married David Foster, who's like this old guy. He's a Canadian producer and composer. Old. He married a younger woman, I guess around Megan's age, who happened to be a friend of Megan's when she was younger. And I mean younger, like teenagers. And hopefully, like I said, I'll insert that photo if I have that. If not, I'll try to dig it up. But so they're really, this article today is really going deep into the bag of tricks. And so now Megan is back in LA. She's so happy, right? She's so happy to be home in LA because LA is so awesome. <sighs> Big sigh. Um, I'll let that stay right there. And if you're from LA, let me know how awesome LA is because I'm not in LA. From my standpoint, it's not new to see this undercurrent of racism and unconscious and certainly unconscious bias. But I think to see the changes that are being made right now is really, it's something that I look forward to being a part of, said Megan. And being part of using my voice in a, in a way that I haven't been able to as of late. Ooh, that seems like a dig. And if she means as of late to since she's married Prince Harry, then maybe you shouldn't have married Prince Harry because you supposedly obsessed about the royals when you were younger and you always read all the books about the royals. So you are actually, in my opinion, stalking the royals, and then somehow because you used your celebrity status, and I use that term loosely, to reach out to people who actually had clout to introduce you to Prince Harry, and you turned on some magical Marina Abramovich charms that she lent you, and you seduced Prince Harry in such a way that everybody is perplexed because people always saw Prince Harry as being a little bit more, I don't know, smarter, but more astute than what we actually saw happen to him. And what happened to Chelsea Davey? Well, for all we know, since we haven't seen Prince Harry, not once in a very long time. All right, well, I think that's about it for today, but I thank you again for tuning into this particular video, and I would love to see you in the next. All right, take care, have a blessed day, and see you in the next one. Bye.